Bluebeam Studio, which is included in any review standard CAD or Extreme product, combines the best of cloud storage and team collaboration. Simply upload your PDFs to Studio and invite attendees from around the world to view and add markups in real time or on their own time. Here, let me show you. To begin working with Studio, open the Studio tab in Review. Click the Studio icon on the command bar here, or select the Studio tab from Tab Access. Select this button to log into or create a new Studio account. When creating an account, add in your email address, a password, and the name you want to appear in your sessions. Here you can tell Review to remember your password the next time you log in. When you log in, Studio will show you a list of active sessions and projects that you've started or joined. To start a brand new session, click Start and select New Session. Name the session and add some files. Under Options, make sure to choose the version that best fits your situation. If you or some of your colleagues are working in Review 8.5, 9, or 9.5, choose Studio V1. If you and your colleagues are working in Review 10 or later, or in Bluebeam View for Windows, select Studio V2. Here you can choose the permissions you want all attendees to have while in this session. Click here to restrict your session attendees by email address. That would mean that only the users registered with the email addresses you specify will be allowed into the session. You can also choose here to have email notifications sent to you whenever a change is made in this session. Click OK and your session will be created. Now you can invite attendees by adding their email addresses to this list or copying this invitation information into an IM or other type of message. Remember that if you checked that Restrict Attendees by Email Address option, anyone you send the session info to must be on that list. Down here, you can choose to add an additional message to the session invitation. Note here that Studio only allows up to 100 attendees in a single Studio session. Click OK and the invitations will be sent. Now let's take a look at the session you've created. Up at the top, you'll see that your login button is still available. The other buttons have been replaced by Leave and Finish. The Leave button will allow you to appear offline to other attendees, while you retain the option to rejoin the session. While the Finish button, which is only available when you're the host of a session, will allow you to permanently end that session. This Session Settings button allows you, the host, to go back and adjust some of the options you set when you created the session, such as Session Name and Attendee List. Click Home to move back to your list of created and attended sessions and projects, and click these buttons to return to the session or project you currently have open. Below these buttons, you'll see the session ID listed for your convenience, followed by a status box, which I'll talk about in a minute. Below those, you'll see this attendee list where Studio keeps track of who is in the session at any given time, as well as those who have attended and logged out. One of the great things about Studio is that hosts and attendees alike can collaborate in a session together in real time or separately on their own time. Imagine it like this. A studio session is like a conference room full of documents. The session host invites attendees to collaborate with her on those documents. And for as long as that room is open, those attendees can come and go as they please. It's that simple. That status box that I pointed out earlier lets you set a status message that other attendees can see. It can show them that you're still reviewing the documents, you're waiting on information before you can move forward, or you're completely finished with your part. You can also create your own status message by clicking Customize 
I'm typing in some text here. The status message you choose will appear next to your name in the attendees list, whether you're logged into the session or not. The next section here is the document section, where all documents uploaded to a session are listed. Attendees can click the documents in this window and review will automatically download and open them for markup. Click this plus sign to quickly add more documents to the session. This last section, the record, keeps track of all markups, edits, and comments made in a particular session, from the moment that session is made until the host hits finish. No one needs to worry about missing a comment while they're away. No matter when they join the session, they'll have access to the entire record from beginning to end. The record also provides an easy way to chat back and forth with other session attendees without leaving Review's interface making this truly the only software you'd ever need for document collaboration. The record will also associate markups and comments with the user's view of the PDF when they added them. So, when you're looking over someone's comments, you can quickly follow the exact process she took in her review of the drawing. And if she's in the session with you, you also have the ability to follow her on-screen movements live. Simply hover over her name in the attendees list and select the little footprints that appear. Now what you see in review will be the exact movements she's making on screen, in real time. These orange marks appear to show you where her cursor is on the drawing. You don't see an actual cursor image because this isn't a streaming video. The markups and cursor positions are the only bits of data being sent back and forth. This means that even users with a slow internet connection can use Studio. The data being sent back and forth is rather small. Speaking of markups, notice what happens when I try to select the markup she just placed. I can't move or edit it. With Studio, you don't have to worry about accidentally bumping anyone else's markups, or anyone accidentally bumping yours. Each user is responsible for his markups and his alone, which helps communication between users remain very clear. And as a session host with a paid copy of Bluebeam Review, you can also invite colleagues and clients who don't actually own a seat of review to join you in studio. How's that? Well, when you send them a session invitation, they'll be given a link to download View, our free PDF viewer for Windows. So, as long as they are inside the session you've invited them to, they'll be able to use Review's features to mark up that document. Now let's move on to talk a little bit about Studio Projects. Studio Projects works a lot like other document management systems, allowing you to upload files and folders into the cloud and share them with other users. There's a check-in, check-out system built into the program as well, which helps with version control. To create a project, click the Start button here, select New Project, and name it. As with sessions, each project is assigned a unique number ID. That ID will display up here next to the project name. You can also send invitations from Studio by clicking this button and adding invitees here. Now you can start putting together your project. You can create a folder, upload individual files, or upload an entire folder structure. Let's choose to upload a folder to our project. Click here and navigate to the folder you'd like to upload. Then click OK. Now that entire folder structure will be uploaded to the project and will include all folders and files underneath it. Double-click a file to open it in read-only mode. Review will display a lock icon on the tab. To open it for editing, you'll need to check it out. Click the lock icon on the Documents tab and select Check Out. Or right-click the document in the project and select Check Out. 
A check mark will then appear next to the document in the project and on the tab to show that it's checked out. Now you can mark up and edit the file as much as you'd like. When you're finished, click the check mark icon or right click in the project and select check in. When you check a document back in, you'll be given an opportunity to add comments. Click OK and the document will return to read only mode. To see a list of the users who've checked out a file and when, right click that file and select version history. Here you'll see that comment you added when you checked that file back in. So you can open a file for viewing, you can check out a file for markup, or you can also add a file from a project to a studio session. Right click a file and select add to new session. Once you name the session, it will open automatically and you'll be able to invite attendees to view just the session alone without having to allow them access to the full project. To adjust a project's settings, click this icon up here. You may notice that this dialog looks a lot like the settings dialog I showed you in our studio session, and they are very similar. Under general, you can change the project or session's name and specify whether you'd like to receive notifications when changes are made to the files. Under user access, you can restrict session or project access to only the people listed here. And under permissions, you can adjust the specific permissions for everyone, certain individuals, or groups of people. Using groups is great if you'd like to set special permissions for multiple people at once. So, now that I've shown you all that Studio Sessions and Studio Projects have to offer, there's only one thing left, how to end a session. When you're ready to end a session in Studio, click the Finish button up here. Review will then give you a chance to save the documents from that session. You can overwrite the original files that you uploaded to the session. You can save them into a new folder. Or you can decide not to save the files. There's also a fourth option down here, a report. The report allows you to save more than just the documents in the session. You can choose to save just the record summary of all the markups and comments left on the drawing a PDF package report that includes all documents and a copy of the record, or a combined files report, which combines the record and the session documents into one multi-page PDF. Name the file, make your adjustments, and click OK. And you can actually make these same sort of reports from the record itself while the session is still active. Simply click this icon here, make your adjustments, and click OK. Well, that's all there is to it. What are you waiting for? Check out Studio for yourself today. Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers.